All right, so I'm, uh, quite a few people are making trees, and they want to put a ribbon on it, right, like something around it kind of wrapping up it. Um, well, I'll show you how to do this. I think we're going to try doing it with a sweep. Um, it's going to, might be a little weird trying to get it to look exactly right, but I think it'll be good enough for printing purposes. My idea here is we're going to make a work plane. All right, so everything's about work planes. Let me, before I get too far here, um, let me turn off the visibility of these other work planes. Um, actually, I can leave that plane because I'm going to make it parallel. So anyhow, uh, we're going to make a plane parallel to a plane and tangent to a surface. So it's going to be, well, not tangent to a surface. Let's see. Gonna be the easiest way to do this. Um, parallel. We probably just offset from plane. We'll do a offset from plane. So you got to have a plane visible that you want it to be offset from. So I I made this one visible, the X Y plane. Um, and that, basically what I'm shooting to do here is put a plane in front of in front of this tree right in the front of it so I can make a sketch on it. Uh, right about there will be good. Maybe just make it 0.7. All right. Now, this visible plane I'm going to make invisible now. So I just have this work plane. All right. I'm going to sketch on this work plane. Now, I suppose you could do the ribbon by embossing and then mirroring it. That might even work as well. Let me start a sketch on this plane, kind of like you did the text here. That might be the easiest. So if I think about putting a ribbon on this, I probably want to like start over here, go up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to project geometry onto this work plane, these outside edges of the tree here. And then I guess I'll do a Oh, I don't know. Spline. Start in this corner. Hold down control. Kind of get it to go up. Snap to that. All right. I'll do another one here. Snap to there. I don't know if this is exactly what we're going to want, but we'll see. We'll move that point a little bit. I want it snapped to there. I don't really like the way that that snapped there. I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to redo that spline. Again, holding down control here. Want it. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay. Then I'm just going to make a regular line and see if I can't close off these ends. might show you two options there here so I'm going to finish this sketch I'm going to emboss this I'm going to try embossing this feature wrap it to this space I don't know if it'll go or not let's see what happens no it won't go all right so let me try embossing and not wrapping to face appears to be trying something. All right, so it did. It went all the way around. And look, though, it cut off flat. See that? It actually wrapped all the way around. That's kind of interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. It's a little thick, though. So what that tells me is I actually want to extend beyond that surface, I suppose. That looks kind of terrible. <laughs> So we can mess with the sketch that we made. All right, mess with the sketch that we made here. It's like, I think I probably want to delete that line after I project it. I want to grab this one and move it out a little bit. This one here, I guess I want to delete that line and project it. I guess I want to move, maybe try moving this one out a little bit. 
I don't know if it's going to let me move that point. Let's finish this sketch and see if this looks any better. Let's see what happens. So it's getting better. It's flattening out there, which is kind of weird. Uh, I probably want to drop the thickness of this emboss down to 0.05. See what it looks like. All right. So that looks a little more reasonable. So that's one way to try to achieve this with an emboss. Um, and then you're just going to have to kind of adjust the sketch to get it looking like the way you want it. Um, if I make, if I can dimension this to there to be 1.5, that would be great. Let me see if I can make a little line there. Let me project that geometry again, actually. And I can probably dimension from here. Oh, it's an angle at once. I want to make those parallel. So I use constraint, make those parallel. Then I can dimension from here to here, be 0.05, thickness of the embossing. I should make it perfect, but I guess it's still going to flatten off, isn't it? Oh, no, look, that made it perfectly smooth now around that corner. So that's one way to achieve it, something like that. But what if you want it to go um, more like, more up, you know, like around and up. Well, there's another way you could try to make a ribbon. I'm going to kill that emboss. All right, deleted the sketch. I'm going to start another sketch in that work plane. All right. I want to make this, I guess, look like, oh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to project that geometry of this again into, into this drawing here. All right. I'm going to do a spline. I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to kind of snake it up the surface now. One. Snap it. I'm gonna, okay, i got to do the other type of spline. My bad. i got to do a interpolation spline so it goes through the points I drop on here. I'm snaking it up this surface. It really it might have a hard time with this. We'll see. Alright, so that one, I don't like it going over that edge very much, but let me see if I can adjust it a little bit here. No, no. Hmm. I want it to be. I want it to be t no, I won't do that. All right. Let me try. Right. Let me try the control vertex. It's a little more controllable. Oops, I lost my project geometry on that side. Let's see here. I'm going to hit control. might look cooler in the end. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. Check. I'm going to finish sketch. Alright. Now, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to extrude that spline I just made, but I'm going to do it as a surface. Alright. And I'm going to send it I'm going to send it through through this thing. All right, so it's kind of interesting. It's going through this material. I actually want to adjust my sketch here a little bit. I want to make that one go out a little farther. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back into this sketch. I want to bump this out a bit here so it's sticking out of the out of the thing a bit. Come on. Grab that point. Oh, is that constrained to be on that line? Yes, it is. Delete that constraint. I'll just delete that whole point. All right. I'm going to drag it out here so it's sticking beyond this a little bit. Or at least getting close to it. All right. 
And should I make that one also? Yeah, I should probably make that one go beyond it as well. I have to delete that constraint. Or that point, even just the point, and drag these so it extends beyond it a little bit. All right, let's see what we have here. Um, I'm gonna drag it even farther. All right. So what we end up with is we end up with a we've got a few different lines cutting through here. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way to go with this. Now I gotta think about this a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a 3D sketch. 3D sketch intersection curve. And what that does is you click two surfaces and it'll make a line wherever those intersect. You end up with these random lines kind of cut through your model on the surface of your model, which is pretty cool. All right, and then the trick here is all right, finish sketch. I'm going to turn off the visibility of these work planes. You see, I have these lines on the surface, so now it's like, oh, okay, so I want to now, you know. I want something to follow those lines, you know, like a, like some sort of shape, right? So you can do that with a sweep, more than likely. So let's make a work plane here. Uh, not make one, we'll just make the one that exists visible. It's this one. Visibility. And what we're going to do is there's points there on the surface. You can see them, right? Where these circles are, where they kind of close on each other. We can we can start a 2D sketch on that plane now. We'll start circles on that plane. On there, kind of random size. Doesn't need to be a circle, it could be really any shape. It's not snapping to those two points. That's okay. Let's go over here and see if I can snap to something. No, let's try placing a point on one of those. No. Let's see. I'll place point there. No, it's not snapping there. So you can project geometry. You can try projecting the geometry of that point. It's there. You can project the geometry of that point. And now, we'll be able to start some circles. So, yeah, there we go. Maybe a little smaller for this one. And over here. Bigger maybe. Finish sketch. Home, and I'm gonna try sweeping these. So, hopefully this works. Had problem with sweeps lately. Yeah. New solid. Hit okay. So now we got a shape sweeping around. So that's kind of crazy. Um, Made a line, sweep it. I gotta make that sketch visible again if I wanna. Or not that sketch, sorry. This sketch visible. So basically, if that's something you wanna do, now you try to maybe go back and I can make that 3D sketch visible. Do another sweep. I try to do this one now. That profile. Not finding that profile, that's unfortunate. Okay, 
it found that profile now. I don't know why it did then. Okay. Do another sweep. That profile. That path. Starting to starting to get there. 